Hi, I'm Stephanie Burt, coming to you from Belmont, Massachusetts, with Jesse Bennett behind the camera, reading some poems for words and music at the SCEP 2020 in the era of social connecting and physically distancing. These two poems come from After Callimachus, my new book, which is imitations and adaptations of the ancient Greek poet Callimachus. Epigram 47. Fun fact. Long ago, in the age of myth, so Theocritus says, Polyphemus the Cyclops discovered a remedy for the pains of unsatisfied lovers. Pursued by the vision of someone he'd never be with, he lifted his lyre and made up a song about it. The muses know what they're doing. He was wise. Such wisdom cures all aches. In the same way, starvation removes the dissatisfaction of longing quite a cure for that disease, and surely we ought to know how to defend ourselves. Erotic love is merciless. But you and I, Polyphemus, can live without it. We're not afraid of you, love. We know many ways to pin your wings. I have one friend who cuts herself. I know another who sings. I'm going to read one more. This is after Callimachus. Epigram 41. My daughter won't leave her room, even though she's old enough to date. Her grandmother says she'll be an old maid. Also, she keeps her door locked. And no wonder. Not only did she get to know her genuine friends online, she's tired or more than tired of what she's heard from you every day since eighth grade about foundation and blush and toner and other components of an attractive face, which she might not even want. Please, give her space. Don't assume anything is a phase she'll get over, or worse, outgrow. Ask what she wants. Promise to hear. That said, she might not tell you directly, ever. Or not for donkey's years. <laughs>